So now in this video, we have a PNP bipolar junction transistor right here, wired as an emitter follower. So with the trim pot to the positive supply, LED is gonna be off. As I turn it to the negative supply, you can see the LED gets uh, brighter right there. We do not need a resistor in this case for uh, protection, and uh, we'll look at why. But in any case, I'll turn that uh, back off. Why not? Um, so we have the circuit here, although you see the trim pot is, uh, or other potentiometer, is to the left of the transistor on the schematic. Um, doesn't matter how this is drawn out, as long as you make the same connections, if you wanna make the same circuit, um, you can shuffle where the physical components are, as long as all the uh, connections are uh, the same. Um, so in any case, we got a 10K trim pot uh, right there. We are using five volts. So we got the uh, positive supply, you can consider that five volts and then ground down here. Since it's a PNP bipolar junction transistor though, a lot of times, instead of uh, ground being the negative voltage, there's actually a negative voltage in relationship to ground. Uh, be aware of that. Um, but uh, we can just stick with uh, positive as five volts and then negative is uh, zero volts. Hopefully that makes sense. So you can see we got the trim pot there. Um, if we go to the positive supply, current does not flow that way through the transistor. That's why we don't need a resistor. I think we'll get the same result. So if we use a resistor, but I didn't uh, draw one there. So um, that's what that is. If we go to the positive supply, current does not flow that way through the PNP bipolar junction transistor. It uh, just flows this way right there, positive, making its way uh, to negative. And uh, we can go all the way to negative right there because uh, we got uh, resistance up here, limiting current. So we can short that to ground if we want to, or to the negative supply in relationship to ground if that is the way the circuit is. Now, this 10K resistor helps uh, maintain the voltage at the emitter. The voltage at the emitter is gonna be the base voltage plus about 0.6 volts. You're not really gaining uh, 0.6 volts. We got positive there. We got uh, positive over there, and thus we're uh, whatever we got here. Um, it's going to be about uh, 0.6 volts higher than what we got there because it's closer to the positive supply. We got that diode drop right there. So the diode drops going in the opposite of a way of an NPN bipolar junction transistor. Hopefully that makes sense. Remember we're working with the uh, uh, PNP. 2N3906 or any other one should work out, but it may not have the same pin layout as this. So this 10K helps uh, maintain that voltage. Uh, if you have something like a bunch of semiconductors or something uh, and, and no like uh, direct resistance right there, it may uh, start getting confusing for the circuit for what uh, the supply voltage is there. But that uh, resistor helps maintain it. And uh, every once in a while, I got a circuit where I don't use this 10K resistor the voltage gets thrown off here in relationship to there. I never have a problem with that uh, 10K. So um, I don't remember what circuit I had the problem, but uh, it never hurts to put that 10K there. You're just uh, losing a little bit of current. So in any case, we got the LED 220 ohm resistor. So as I said before, whatever voltage we set here, it's gonna be about 0.6 volts approximately, higher right there. So if we set this to uh, two volts, up here is gonna be uh, 2.6 up here and we got five volts uh, there and um, so that'd be like uh, two and a half volts the LED would be uh, kind of dim right there if we go all the way down uh, to uh, zero volts we'll have 0.6 volts here um, that's the most voltage difference we can get and uh, therefore we'll have five volts there 0.6 volts there there'll be about 4.4 volts across the load so now we'll take those voltage measurements. This is an auto range meter, pretty simple. I just have to set it to V and I don't have to move the red probe for anything but high current. And uh, you can see it says DC up there. If we wanted AC, we just hit the button for AC, um, but we want a DC measurement in this case. And um, lamp is uh, probably gonna look a little bit better right there. So first let's look at the voltage we set there. We got the supply voltage, five volts. We're gonna lose a little bit along the way. And the trim pot uh, set to uh, five volts all the way to the positive supply. And uh, so of course we can't get any higher than five volts at the emitter. You know, that uh, just makes sense. Let's go to the other extreme. I'm gonna turn the trim pot all the way down to zero volts again. So again, um, we should have about zero volts uh, right there. It does say zero volts spot on. Should be about 0.6 uh, volts uh, right there. And uh, there you can see about 0.7 volts. So 0 0.6, 0 0.7 in that range, it's uh, estimate. 
Uh, now we'll get the voltage across the load. It should be about, uh, since that was uh, a 0.7, should be about uh, 4.3 approximately, probably a little bit shy. And uh, there you can see um, right there. So we're losing about 0.6 volts. So the LED is not going to pass as much current as if we just wired it directly to the power supply because we're losing about uh, 0.6 volts. And I'll set this about halfway. Um, halfway, the LED is a little too dim. Let's go down to about a third uh, right there. This is just for demonstration purposes. Um, you want to uh, probably you know, control an LED brightness this way. But again, let's look at the uh, voltage here. I won't know exactly what it is, so about 1.1. And uh, so I'm guessing we got about uh, 1.7, maybe closer to 1.8 at the emitter up there. Okay, about 1.8, not too bad. And of course, uh, you take 5 volts, subtract that. So that was about 2 volts. We got uh, probably a little bit more than 3 volts right there. And you can see that. So in any case, um, yeah, again, it's just a demonstration circuit. Um, you may or may not decide to uh, control LED uh, brightness in this way. But, um, you know, for my purposes, it's just kind of a demonstration to show the emitter follower right there. So we got the PNP, and uh, top pin there is the emitter. It would be the left if you're looking at the front, because the flat's to the left. Emitter base collector right there. And again, we're protecting the LED with 220 ohm resistor. Hopefully you can see that. Of course, the long lead of the LED has to be more positive. Short lead, the cathode has to be more negative, no matter what, if you want it to light up and um, 10k resistor right there again that just helps maintain that voltage there sometimes it gets thrown off if you got uh, semiconductors that drop a lot of voltage or something then the uh, circuit gets kind of confusing with uh, the voltage there but that resistor helps uh, to maintain that positive uh, voltage right there and again um, you know sometimes that uh, positive voltage is ground they're usually in those cases if you got a negative voltage PNP uh, you know ground uh, more positive side and uh, the uh, collector over there to a actual negative voltage right there there's usually like NPN circuitry or other circuitry that's coming from the positive supply to ground you know like split or dual supply um, so if you see a negative voltage probably there's a ground and then even more positive voltage is probably plus 5 volts ground and then negative 5 volts um, but uh, if uh, that's confusing, you'll probably see it later. Hopefully it will make sense then. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you on the next video.